can still pack a ton of troops in. Look at this! What is happening? I mean, what is happening over here? Love Alba, that's great. Ah! YouTube censorship! Ah! <laughs> you know what? I love Scotland, though. I love Scotland. <laughs> Faction created against me. Oh, the, the peasant rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. Sweden is migrated. Yeah, where's Sweden now? Does Sweden still exist? I'm thinking these kingdoms were just joined and then they made their primary title, Estonia. Um. Yeah. Kingdom of Sweden, Kingdom of Estonia. He just chose Estonia as the primary title. Okay. That explains everything. Fearful troops, men at arm maintenance per dread. Well, we don't have any dread right now. Monthly income per stress level? 10%? Oh, that's per actual level, not stress amount. And I don't usually go there. I mean, we're gonna, so we're going to go through Avaricious. I don't think there's much of an order. We don't really have Republican things inside of our territory. I don't know. We'll, we'll go ahead and do this. Maybe we're going to want the extort decision. I'm not sure. Out of curiosity, what's it look like? Um. Oh, is this a decision? Extort subjects. Opportunity to take gold from someone in your realm. Extort subjects and rebuild two years. I have the perk. And where's my loyal subject? I mean, we've got to hit the button at least once, right? Let's see what happens. Exhort subjects, peasants. So I think it rolls to see who it's going to do. It's probably going to be a vassal versus a peasant versus whatever. The peasants of the county of Ren seem to be doing better than one might expect from the taxes I've collected there. An extra contribution to my treasury should do no harm. Oh, they'll complain, but is that not what peasants always do? They will live with this, though, I'm sure. Uh, so... They can do whatever they please as long as they can get gold, get 50 bucks, lose 100 control in Ren, which is over here. We do have 100 right now. They're also kind of cranky at me right now. Um, why are they never grateful for what they do have? 50 gold and 20 dread. So instead of losing control, I'm going to get county extorter for 10 years, dropping popular opinion. So the peasants are definitely going to be rabble, rabble, rabble. Although Dread can help with some things. Not worth upsetting them right now. We'd lose prestige. Well, we're going to commit to one of these decisions now. Um, I think, I think I'm going to go with one. Just because I think the resetting the control is not so bad. Although, everyone wants some Dread. All right. You have judged that you want Dread. Boom. So, yeah, they're really cranky over here. If we take a look at our character sheet now, we do have 20 Dread, although it decays quite quickly, in fact. Um, and yeah, so having Dread means that our vassals and things won't want to mess with us. Because they're scared. Okay, now I'm going to go and create the Armored Footman, as discussed previously. Done. Oh, you're inviting me to a feast. Sure! Go party. Is this Count Hugo? Ah, it's my buddy! Oh, well, we're not actually friends yet, but we'll see. A lot of people here. I forget I'm shy. Maybe I would have said no. That would upset people. I mean, you know, I have duties. Peasants like to eat dread and butter. <laughs> the poor complain. They always do, but that's just idle chatter. Our system brings rewards for all. At least for all that who matter. Well, that's funny. <sighs> I could tell Mayor Ansel had too much to drink, even though he insisted on showing us how sober he was. Simply rising from his seat proved too much for him, and now I'm covered in stinking vomit! So either way, I'm going to get 10 stress because I'm shy. Well, actually, this way would just be 10 stress, period. The first one is only 10 stress because I'm shy. Um, this way gets me higher standards of courtesy for five years, or courtesy for five years, which gives me extra prestige. And he loses prestige and opinion. Or, ha, what a show you put on. Now that's interesting. I would lose some prestige, but he would like me because I showed kindness. You know what? You, should, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Come on! Can't believe you do that. I'm gonna send you my dry cleaning bill. Feast! The dilemma. The feast is dwindling down. I find myself deep in conversation with my social nephew, sociable nephew, Count Hugo. He inquires about my opinion on tax level, a subject he's deeply interested in himself, a subject that fascinates me. So we'll increase opinion, start forming a friendship, or I could care less. No, man! We've invested a fair bit in Count Hugo. We, we blackmailed him a bride. We went and threw someone out of their house and home to give them more land? No, let's become friends with Hugo. It's going to be really useful. Um, we can actually 
probably scheme. Make friends? No, we can scheme to sway, but that's it. Okay. Returning home, I'll remember the days spent with Count Hugo's halls for a long time. It's time to wash off the traces of merriment and vomit, and once more resume my duties as Lord of the Realm. Uh, I gained the trait Eager Reveler. Hey, there we go. Increase to Diplomacy, Intrigue, Opinion of Other Revelers. I will gain stress because I'm shy, though. Uh, but Count Hugo likes me more. What I might do um, is I might donate to charity here to bring down our stress. I don't remember how much it'll do it. 28 stress. Maybe not as much as we'd like. I, I, there's probably some randomness there. But I want to stay out of range of hitting a stress level if an event happened that would potentially trigger it. Befriend is a lifestyle choice. Ah, ha, ha. So if we have that lifestyle choice, we will now have a new option to befriend intentionally instead of waiting. Seduce the wife of Hugo. <laughs> she is a known adulterer. I mean, I don't know. Hold on a sec. I need... I need my, my backup soda here. By the way, is Hugo's heir landless now, which means you don't lose his vassalage even though he won't get kids. Oh, yeah. I guess that, that warning is gone. He must have a kid, right? Mm, no. It's because, right, the other guy has no land. So right now, if he dies, I bet you the land comes to me or something. Okay, so we've solved that problem. By, by kicking Count Hugo out of his land, we don't have to worry about, yeah, losing this territory. Lovely. Unless he gets given land somehow. Did he imprison his wife? Oh... That's what happened. So, when we brought her in here, we knew she was a fornicator. Since then, like, Hugo, oh, you must be so happy that I, I brought this wife to you. And he's like, yeah, about that, she cheated on me, so I threw her in prison. <laughs> I guess that's going to make it a lot harder for him to have babies now. So it's a good thing that the other Count Hugo doesn't isn't the Count anymore, that he's lost land. <laughs> I love this game so much. You're the best wingman. Invite Hugo the other to your land court and give him land. Maybe. Normal day in CK. That's right. Just standard stuff. Um. Oh, I could declare over here. Vastly inferior. Let's do it. And it's and it's a claim for me specifically. Let's go to shop. Right over there. She has three kids, he has zero. He only hit two. Oh, really? Herbert is a bastard child she had after coming to Leon. That's incredible. Again, the diplomacy lifestyle, there's a tree you would love. Yeah, well, there, I, I, I've looked at them before, I can't remember them all. Um, I mean, I've, I've done some of these. I, the family hierarchy is really strong. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, the family hierarchy is really strong. Because it increases... It's too late for us now, but maybe for um, when we take over as a kid or something like that, grabbing it, because it can increase the chance of getting good genetic traits and things. Who's the real father? I, actually, I don't know if we know that. Oh, parent. Arno, right over here. The, the Chancellor of Count Gilbert. You know, of course, he hasn't been thrown in prison. He's a known fornicator, though. But I guess it's because it's like... Paternity is... was Well, it's effectively impossible to prove, right? So I think that might be it. It's almost like the system was rigged against women somehow. I don't know. I know, crazy to think about. Let's say, where's my army? But there it is. There's a little... The crappy version of the, uh, the catapult right over here. It is increasing the siege speed pretty uh, dramatically. Right, because you've got your base of 1.0, and so we're getting 30% faster siege by having the one amount of the uh, the onagers. The amount you gain towards a trait tied to your skill with the attributes. No, it's tied to your education level. So we have a level 3 education trait. So a level 3 means we get 30% more XP if we are doing a, um, uh, a stewardship lifestyle. So this education trait is a stewardship level uh, education trait. It's level three, so we get thirty percent more. Level four, you get forty percent. Um, 
Norman, given rise to Breton Catholic populace, targeting King Aubrey. Okay. Okay, chat, how do you stop your character from having kids? Uh, well, I mean, if something happened to your wife, that would be one way to do it, or your spouse, I should say. Um, in previous games, you could become, depending if you were like in uh, one of the monk orders, you could become chaste or celibate. Old age. Yeah, so we're not going to be having any kids anymore because, um, wow, time is flying by. Because our, our, our wife is, uh, is too old. I don't know how it's going to be in CK3. In CK2, it was 45 or 46 or something like that, where, um, uh, they stopped being able to have babies. So he's going to become our vassal. Okay, because this, this was a, there we go, there was a du jour war for Shaf, because... Um, if we take a look at duchies... Oh, no, that's an Orléans. Why does he become our vassal, then? Instead of us taking it. What was the nature of this claim? I don't know. She's chill, choose celibacy with lifestyle. Reveler might block it. Divorce your wife. And that. How is our... Um, our marshal? We're going to get you to increase control. Already 100, already 100. Oh, yeah, because we don't control it. There you go. We can stick you in Anjou. Although Anjou's not actually our territory. But we can still help out Gilbert, maybe. Increase the control of the realm just to prevent some, some issues. Man, this Estonia stuff. Can you fight for the duchy title? Well, that's interesting. Um, first question might be more like, <clears throat> does this duchy title exist? No, it does not. We only have two of three uh, duchies. We need three, it looks like. And unfortunately, the so there's a total of five in Orléans. Three of them are controlled directly by the king. Wait, is King Aubrey... Man, we are just going through leaders, aren't we? The king's child, a six-year-old child... I mean, just killing him wouldn't help us. We've got more troops than we do. <clears throat> we could potentially start a faction, and other people might join our faction. I'd like, you know, do we really want to be that gamey and do it? In in reality, um, Count Udo or, or Odo over here would um, would already be king. He would have been elected king because of things that happened. Trading some sweets for a duchy. We um, all our daughters are married. We have to kill one of their husbands. Oh, that's not true. Wait, betrothed. Oh, yeah, he's only 14 still. Um, and I think I still want to marry there. I mean, we could... Well, he's six. We'd have to wait forever for him to come of age. That would be no good. And you wouldn't want a matrilineal marriage anyway. Hmm. Factions are there right now. Well, there is an independence uh, faction. Out of curiosity, these are claimants for the throne. I could put a claim for my half sister, my nephew, several nephews, but they're not—they're not of my dynasty. They're like. Um, I don't know if you show their, their dynasty over here, but... Count oh, Hugo? These are uh, these are my nephews through my half-brothers, so they're not of my dynasty. We could try to become independent. No, uh, Ola no it's because of our zoom level. Look. Oop. Orléans is, uh, is all part of the, the kingdom. Hey, pumpkin pie! 
Been watching you for the last seven years. You taught me how to play you four, Hoi four, and Stellaris. So I can only thank you by aiding the important whiskey and chocolate fun. Thank you for the great content. Well, thank you very much, pumpkin pie. And you just made me very hungry. Very hungry. You won't be able to go to war for other counties still within France if independent. Well, I mean, I could. We'd be we'd have to declare war against France as a whole. That would be the difference. But if enough people, who's in that faction right now for independence? Three members. Count, count, count. Yeah. So what we really need is we need like a bunch of really big players in France, um, like some of the other big duchies, to join this, and then um, then I might be willing to join it because what would happen is we would shatter France. But right now, first of all, we might not win. And even if we did, I think France would be too big and, and cohesive. So we don't want that. I don't think we want to do anything like that right now. But we're going to keep an eye on there. Um, thank you very much for the gift subs, uh, uh, Sir Eduardo. Thank you. A bunch of religious things. Yeah, he has really poor control over them. Things are about to go crazy over here. I'm betting something's going to happen. And we're just going to buckle down and get ready for the ride. If I join, I might convince other people. That is true. But I don't think it's the right... Culture discovered city planning. Now, what does that do for us? It'd be nice if on there it gave you the tooltip that would tell us what city planning did. City planning. Unlocks village center, shrine, prayer halls, and trading outposts. Okay. So just the ability to build more probably higher level buildings. Oh! Um, you want me to become Marshal with my eight military. I mean, I'm going to say yes, because I want a position, but you really should have asked me to be your steward. Yeah, Estonia is, is a whole thing, man. Estonia. It's basically Sweden. I mean, it doesn't change how weird it is that it's happening here. It is really annoying that we didn't get to eat all of Brittany first. We were looking for that. Eight military Marshal. Yeah, this is this kingdom's going to shit, man. I don't know. France? I don't think it's the future. Maybe we should join Alba. I hear they're having a, a, a great time. Letting it all hang out. Sweden, not OP, exactly. But Visby is a similar problem. Um, or at least it was last time we checked. So, if we were to declare war over here... Um, oh, actually, they are similar in strength. Now, other it says other rulers of that religion might join the war. I wonder... Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. Should we just try it? Maybe we should just do it. Hey, Drew, thanks for the raid, man. Here you had a really long stream on Monday. It's going to be tight. We don't have a ton of money. Um, let's wait a tiny bit. Let's try to save up some money. And we... Uh, enough so that we have some mercs in case something crazy happens. I think that's a good idea. We've been we've been pretty aggressive about spending money, which I... Because it's good. If you've got money just sitting around, it's not doing anything for you, right? It's not like you earn interest. There's no purpose in sitting on money. Ooh. What happened here? Speaking of money. Hey, Mr. The Pope. Can I have some money? Thanks, buddy. Cheers. Um... So if you got the money, you should spend it on improving your, your kingdom or developing your men-at-arms or something like that. But now would be a good time for us to maybe uh, build up a bit of a war chest and be ready to go. I think our men-at-arms are still... Uh, no, they have reached their, their maximum size of 110 of the uh, siege equipment. Of course, we could level these up right now. But I think I'm going to be okay with just sitting on some money. Did it flip to Finland? That happened all of a sudden. And does Finland even exist? Other than here? Oh, and right there! I bet you the dude died. And it's probably Gavilkind. No, he's still there. It's still, there's still Nalka, who's the king of, of Estonia and Sweden. He's chosen Estonia as his primary title. Maybe he lost a war. What would it look like if we declared war on Finland? They do not have a lot of troops. Now, this, my claims, is just one province, which is what we want. We'll probably go for the whole duchy. We're not going to go to the kingdom because we don't actually have the, um... Let's it says your devotion is... Oh, so I can't actually start it. That's the problem. But I can start the Holy War for the Duchy. They've got far fewer troops than you do. We've got emergency money. Look at Bavaria. Estonia is bailing out. I think this is just mostly a name change. More than anything over here. 
All right, I like it. Let's do this first, then yeah, we'll figure out maybe independence faction or something at that time. Go, declare. We're still pause. Yes, we are good. I'm going to get rid of this and call on one of my allies. Not much of something, but he's something. Raise our armies. Oh, the dramatic music is starting. Let's go. Thank you for joining. Where did East Francia disappear? I mean, it's just it's probably just a title difference type thing, right? This king, yeah. So he's got the Kingdom of Bavaria, Kingdom of East Francia. It's the same thing as what's going on with Estonia. He's the Kingdom of Sweden and Estonia. Which probably means, because we don't have primogeniture laws in most of these places, uh, when that guy dies, it'll probably split back into two kingdoms. None of these are really helpful right now. Uh, we do have a little bit of dread, not much, but we'll go ahead with, with, with this. Hey, Fuzzy Lumpus, thank you very much. Damn you, Quill, stop making me spend money on Paradox Games. I've also con convinced all my real-life friends to pick this up so we can multiplayer. Like, <laughs> I want to have fun. You guys had better spend money. I'm a good friend, you guys. Very probably have better national ideas. Hey, this is an EU4. Um, should we split this siege up? I'm worried that they might land some troops on us suddenly. On the other hand, speeding up the siege would be pretty useful. Let's split these guys up. Dun, dun, dun. I wish I could convince my friends to get games to play together. We do a lot of, um... Hey, I'm the dynasty head of the Robin team. Excellent. Uh, also, oh, these guys did join in over here. Mm, they're running away. They're going to sea. Okay, let's just wait. Where is his troops? Well, there's a little bit of Finland over here, which is probably where most of his troops currently are. I'm sure he's going to try to put them onto a boat and come over here, but... Uh... Leon! No, wait. I was thinking the um, the Count of Leon. My Counselor... Which one was he? Uh, he must have been. Since I didn't get an option, I don't have an empty slot here. He must have been my bishop. Must have been my bishop that just kicked the bucket. All right, that's fine. There's also a tiny amount of county in Finland. In Finland? Is there some Finland in Finland? Oh, there it is! Yeah, right over there. Okay, that's probably where his troops are then. All right, and see, they're trying to assemble. Oh, these are raiders, actually. No, no, of Finland. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to abandon the siege. I'm going to pull back over here. I'm going to keep my troops together. Because if they're going to land a bunch of troops on me here, and they were planning on doing that, now they're going to go somewhere else. And we're going to let them land. Hopefully, they won't group up anymore. We're going to finish the siege. It's going to happen in seconds here. I hope I didn't take the actual siege weapons with me. That would have been awkward. I should have probably manually split this up. We're going to finish the siege. was murdered. We knew someone was plotting. We tried to increase the defenses. My wife has been murdered. My dear Udokia. Uh, I like this. I might not have loved you. It's so shitty. Why would you say that in a eulogy? Ah, you're Udokia. I might not have loved you. Yet I feel you're passing more cutely than I ever thought possible. You're always there, my constant companion. Did I take you for granted? There are so many things I left unsaid. Hope you find peace. I'm going to gain some stress. Only 10 stress. Guys, it's just my wife who died. I'm not going to get that stressed about it. Oh, this game. And, though... Okay, I'm paused. Good. It looks like we did figure out who it was. Oh, I can call Dynasty members. My wars? Because I'm the head of the Dynasty, maybe? I've not seen this option before. Um, I found out a secret. Where would that be? Intrigue, hits and secrets. I know who Payne's lover is. Did I not just find out a secret? Maybe, um, oh, you know what? It was probably uh, publicly, um, it was probably uh, caught in public. So that person is probably a known murderer is probably what happened. Although I'm surprised that there's not an arrest option over here. It said it was exposed. Oh, see who killed her. That's a good way to do it. Um, I can scroll back to my previous spouse. Um... Cause of death. Not on here. Because it used to be. There's this little skull. Was murdered by... Munson... 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 Munson...